still a very smart move. Here he's in. He's in the ring. You want to say something? You got something to say, ladies and gentlemen, Steve Brown. I figured since Logan Savage is going to try to take my job and be a wrestler or a champion, that I'll come out and do his job as a commentator. So I'm going to guest commentate for this match. Wait, 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 wait. You walk in here, disturb our two guys. Who the hell do you think you are? First of all, I'm the champion. <laughs> yeah. and I okay, can do well, I don't I care want. what you are. Don't walk in here and interrupt us. Anyways, there's a fantastic match going on here. Someone forgot to take their meds today. Pretty, pretty Ricky and uh, what, what's his name? Free, Free Beard? Santa Beard. Santa Beard. Okay. Here, here, go ahead, kids. He knows it all, brother. You go ahead. Here. Who knows, he knows it, all? it all? He knows it all. He just comes I in know here, steals my mic, Bobby Bass. I know what he's like. He's, like. he's a champ. I'm he the thinks champ. he can do I anything can do he wants. wants. He's the CWO champ. Comes out here, steals our microphone, and just cuts us off. You know what? I stole your microphone. <laughs> you know, champ. You should have a little respect for former champs and guys sitting here commentating. You're the guy that's sitting that. here. I'm you're the not guy. a former champ. I'm not a former champ, but I'm a former champ of other places, and that's what matters most. It doesn't. Hey. We're doing a good job with the champ, are we not? We're, we're killing it with the champ over you're, here. You're Our killing guy. it. You're killing it, all right. <laughs> Definitely killing it. You're killing it. But right now, in suicide over here. <laughs> so we got Jesse Bieber and Doctor Kavorkian. Doctor Kavorkian. We're doing. Uh, hey, champ. Let me tell you something. Yo. Don't ever call me that again, because we can go right here, and you know what's going to happen, don't you? Do your commentating, and we'll shut our mouth and let you do it. You got some commentating stuff to say now, Steve Brown? He's pretty Ricky's out of the ring now. He's out of the ring. He is. His hand is he's hurt. It may be broken. I think you need someone to kiss his hand. Like someone should be ki oh! oh! She kissed it. It's getting better by the looks of it. Like that's going to help his hand, kissing his hand. <laughs> I mean, if a woman kisses my hand, I might feel a little bit better too, Bobby Bass. I'm sure. You know what? Get in the ring, be a man, and defend yourself. Defend yourself. Right, champ? You've done that many, many times. That's why you're the champ, because you defended the belt. Am I right or wrong? Oh, thank you. Oh, no. Hey, champ, I give credit for credit too. You I are the mean, champ. I am the champ. And you can't disrespect the champ, but remember this. When you get in that ring, you're on top of the mountain. It's hard to stay on top of the mountain, my man. I know. I've been there. It's been pretty easy so far. <laughs> but, uh, Just no competitors ready and good enough for Steve Brown. Pretty much. Pretty much. And that's it. But you know what? I don't want to take away from this match. Got two young competitors. Young two very young, young competitors. Young Bucks, as you would say. The Young Bucks? <laughs> not the Young Bucks. They, they are Young Bucks. They're not the Young Bucks. Who are you scouting, champ? I'm not scouting anyone, to be honest with you. Logan Savage, who normally is over here doing commentary every show. Uh -huh. Tonight, he wants to step in the ring with me and try to take my job as champion. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to take his job as commentator, do it better than him. Then later tonight, in the middle of the ring, uh -huh. I'm going to beat him. I think he's got his wife over here and his children. I'm going to beat him in front of them. Oh, man, you know, that's so cruel, but I like it. I think it's kind of cool. Beat him so bad, his mama won't recognize him. You know him. what? I'm starting to like you. I'm starting to like you. You guys want to talk about beating people up so bad. Pretty Ricky is getting his butt handed to him right now by Santa Beard. After that, uh, after that uh, atomic drop, was he trying to get somebody? Oh, it's oh. the smooch of death. Oh, wow. He smooched him to death. Wow. Oh. You can't you can't kiss any better than that. No, Pretty you can't. Ricky is the king of smooch. I think he was uh, playing possum there, you know? He's playing dead now, you have to. You take a big kiss like that, you're not going nowhere. Definitely, definitely. Now I know it's I, a turn of buckle. That hurts. I've been there many times. You know, Ricky looks like he wants to win this match so bad, he don't give a darn about his opponent. And champ, I hate to That's say it. That's how you get it done. That's how you get it done. Champ, I think you're out here. I think you're worried about one of these guys. I could be wrong. I think you're scouting out for the future. You know what? It's always good to be like aware of possible contenders. True, true. Uh, but 
like I said, most of the reason why I'm here is just to uh, take the commentating job. To, 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 spite, to spite Logan Savage. And you're doing a good job, champ. You know, so you guys are you guys are filling you guys are filling in until the commentator gets here. Yes, sir. He's running late. That's that's okay. That's okay. He got the pin on one. He kicked out of two. Go ahead, brother. I'm just, we're going to all share these mics so that way we all get a chance to say a word here and there, right? You right here, get get real close. You can put your face right on my shoulder. I'll give you the big smooch of death like Pretty Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a chop. Was it Santa Beard? Santa Beard is what I've been calling him. He changes his name every show. Free Beard. What's it? Brendan Kidwell. Santa Beard. You know. Freebeard, Brendan Tidwell, he, he has had a victory on Impact Wrestling. He has had a victory on Impact Wrestling. That's how you know right there that you have potential. That's one more victory than I have in Impact Wrestling. So That's any victory over me in Impact Wrestling. I've never wrestled in Impact Wrestling, but hey. But one, you're, day, one, day, one day we'll get there. We your, day, your day will come, champ. I can see you right, right now. Good, you're intense. You want to get in there. You're going to beat everybody in this arena tonight. And you know what? They're going to take a notice of you. Tell, take it from me. I'm telling you. you. Impact's going to call you tonight, big guy. They better call me tonight. They should. You're the CWO oh, champ. Oh, you threw him out the ring. Look at this. Oh, he, he hang on the rope. He coming right back in. If I, if I, if I uh, if were to speak well of myself, you know, draws going up since I've been champ. Crowds getting bigger every day. At the single day? for that. Every day. Every you know what? Day. I have to agree. Last time I was here, the crowd wasn't that big, champ. And I come in here tonight. That's right. And hey, the crowd is good. You're the man of the hour. You're the man with the power. You're too sweet be sour. That's right. You're the woman pet, the men regret. And you are the champ. Oh! What a lung blower right there. So we just stole your job. That's what we're doing. This is kind of our thing now. But you can jump in. We are all can talk. Yeah. You want all four? We we're yeah. not even a duo we're not anymore. We're gonna leave now. No, this is we have barbershop quartet right here. If you want to start one, no, <laughs> let, looking back to this match here, sweet the, Ricky, they're both down right yeah. now. You got Santa Beard trying to get up. Pretty Ricky is so tired. Oh, oh, what a clothesline! Close Great clothesline! Great back oh, elbow, elbow by the elbow. Santa Beard. Going in for the big clothesline. He misses. Kick to the belly into the suplex. Oh, suplex. There we go. It's a suplex. Oh, what beautiful form. Did you Remind see that bridge? Reminds you of the Dynamite Kid suplex. Quick, fast, and easy. Dynamite Kid suplex. God rest his soul. God rest his soul. Yeah. Rest in peace. I had for so sure. many matches with the kid. It was unbelievable. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Amazing wrestler. Oh, what a spear. Stefan just arrived and he said that it's packed. And uh, just to go off what I was saying before, since I've been champ, draws have been going up. Well, Step and As you said, champ, the man's not stupid. It's very true. I am not stupid. I'm a little bit late due to some heavy traffic on the QEW. I blame <laughs> stupid people. But besides that, Steve Brown, yes, has been champion for a while. The attendance has grown show by show since he's been champion. It, it's no lie. It's, it's the truth. I agree. 100% oh! I agree. But you Jeff want to take over here for me, buddy? Breaker on I can't have me. Sir, you're good to go. And there it is for your win, ladies and gentlemen. Your new champ. I'm going to go prepare for my match. You almost got me calling him the champ since we've been talking thank about you. Man, you. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely Fabulous amazing. Has won the match. Absolutely amazing. Fabulous free beard. I've been calling him Santa Beard this whole time. It is a pretty sick beard. This is true, my friend. This is a beautiful beard. He's got the ho ho spirit. Everyone had a candy cane here. This was definitely the way to start the night for sure. Here at CWO, we like to be known as the company that takes you back to the days of the territories. We're pretty lucky here. We have a table of legends. We usually have a lot of them like to come in and, and come to our show. And I just like to introduce a few of them right over here. Just finishing doing some color commentary for us. The man with no class, Bobby Bass. Bobby Bass just here taking my place. Bobby Bass was killing it. He was killing it. He Absolutely. Did last time too. Here for the He's first a great time commentator a for sure. Alexander the Great, Alec Gerard. Oh, Alexander the Great, rocking the pink. Rocking the pink. That is one 
Sitting that is some hat, there. I gotta say. That is. That's a style man, who, uh, style man right there. I wish I had a hat like that. But he's also <laughs> been a trainer with some big name wrestlers such as Edge, Chris Jansen, oh, Stratus. Ladies and gentlemen, is this the yeah, great Matt one? Moore. Could it be? No way. Could it be? We got referee Jab coming. Is this something that I need to, need to talk to you about? Ladies and friend? gentlemen, Ron Hutchinson is in the house. A longtime supporter of ours. And. Recently turned 86, right? Bernie the Cat Livingston. Bernie the Cat there. I forgot I'm going to lose my dumb back there. Sit on the far end of the table. We're here to have a good Another time. Always, time my friend. Always. <laughs> favorite, Always a good Mac. time here at CWL. Big Mac, one of my favorite people in this crazy world you live in. The I've known Big Mac there, for about 20 years, it, and him, the dude right? doesn't age. He's looked that way, I'm not Another kidding you, since like the mid-70s. Really? Jones. That's amazing when you don't get old. <laughs> when you're in this Stand business, you live forever. Right now, Apparently. Right or you behind. die really young. It's one or the other. This is true, but <laughs> however, <laughs> these guys are raising the bar. I'm telling you right now. And they... The bar is a dot to them at this point. The bar, yeah, it's fast. It's, they you passed can't. it a long time well, ago. We had a nice surprise uh, a couple weeks ago. He told us he was coming back. Anybody was at our show, our last show, he flew in from Los Angeles. He did that kindly for us again today. He was a WWF, AWA, UWF wrestler. I like that we're taking a second to actually Andy acknowledge some of the greats are here tonight. Having everybody know, like, everybody should know who is here Mr. tonight. Outrageous. It's not just wrestlers. It's not just performers that we want to see. I mean, look who came out to come see this stuff. And it's absolutely breathtaking. You guys uh, laid the brickwork for us to walk the path to be where we are today. And I mean, I know you still work. I used to work before I hurt my back. And like, because of guys like that, not just big name guys, but guys who have been around everywhere. And some of those guys are big game, big name guys. Don't get me wrong. But they built the pathway for us to walk to the ring. And that's what we needed. They're getting right with you. And that's the way they need to be. But I mean, you got a good team like Swole Patrol on the other corner, and I mean, they're here for the entertainment. They're here to they're here to get every women's blood pumping. That's what they're here this for. This is very true. This is very true. This whole match might be uh, this a, an afternoon delight or an evening delight rather for oh. the ladies here, because like that's a lot of man muscle in that ring, and I'm sure they're gonna hit each other as hard as they possibly can. I gotta say, I wish I had half the muscle. As Atlanta says. I, I got that much fat. Yeah, I it's mean, only one place though, which <laughs> sucks. But I mean, my wife thinks I'm hot, so I'm okay. You know what? As long as she does, that's what matters. Lock up now between. Uh, Big strong lock up. That's, that's a brawler, and you got Moose. Brawler and Moose now back in Moose the is pu he's pushing him around like he's from the forest. Moose is a big guy too. He was actually an ex football player. Was he really football player? I'm pretty sure he mentioned to me. That he was a linebacker. That in the least does not surprise me. It does not. He's a big boy. He's, He's got the guy. strength. He pushes people around. And I'm sorry, at this moment, I don't think your British Crawler buddy's got a chance right now. I don't know, my friend. He's pretty crafty. He's Ooh. going for the pin right now. Ooh, big school boy. Ooh. He's got a little bit of an attitude, too. That's what gives him the edge. That's the edgy spot, eh? He's got tricks up his sleeves, and I like that. Trick up his one sleeve. Well, he's got a lot of role models to look after. I mean, like William Regal. Look at the British Bulldogs. He, he is technically sound, just like almost every British wrestler I've ever seen. Well, if he's definitely done his homework, those are some guys to learn from. And he's got a hard head. As you can see, they're utilizing it to... Uh, he's got the wrist lock on there, headbutting Moose in the shoulder. So Moose turns it around now into a wrist lock of his own. This is a very creative wrist lock right here. This must be the moose knuckle or something. The moose, that's a good one. I like that. It's not bad, knuckle. eh? thought of that just now. I think he was probably digging his fingers right in between the two bones. That's it. Right in the wrist there. And I mean, I don't know about you, but that is one of those pressure points that you don't want to mess with. I have cried over those. Fair enough. And my, that's my dad used to do that to me as a child. Yeah, fair enough. He grabbed me and walked me around the house, holding me in these weird little moose knuckle holds and I not gonna lie I cried every single time uh, he was just showing you what you need to do as a man from the house right yeah, that's it and today I'm still no man this is absolutely incredible bunch of shoulder blocks. Side top top moose. you can't go through 
a brick wall, ladies that, that, and gentlemen. It looked like Brawler just ran into an 18 wheeler right there. It's a truck just hey, hey, ran him oh, over. Oh, you know how long? Oh, and Tomer is now in the ring. Big boy, not as big as Moose. Two big guys though, they can go. You but I'm seeing some good I'm gonna see some good stuff right here. I promise everybody here at CWO. This is what we want to see right here. Tomer asking Moose if he's ready, boy. I don't know if it's smart to throw gasoline on the fire. I'm I just saying. I definitely wouldn't call Moose boy. Oh <laughs> Tomer, a savvy veteran, quick shot. Quick shot to the gut, big punch to the face. Very strategic. Taunting the crowd like he often does. Letting them know that he is the man. Those are the slips that you don't want to do. That's how you get caught off guard. There Just it is. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. A little bit of foreshadowing there. I like that. I got I got some uh, I think about this stuff every once in a while, Steven. And that's how we uh that's how we get through our days. That's how we roll, my friend. I hear ya. Mike Atlantis with the big line into the buckle. Soul patrol working as a team now. Woo! Big splashes. There's no way you're getting up from that. Take no, the sir. pin. Oh, he, they're not done with them. No, I don't. I think he wants to toy with them a little bit more. Oh! But that he paid the price right there. Tomer firing back. Come on, let's go, Tomer, go! Shooting off the ropes. Get out of here. Oh, tilt a whirl from Mike Atlantis. Head scissors from Mr. Atlantis. I didn't know being that big would be able to do a move like that. Oh, oh big elbow to the big back. Big elbow shot, though. But Mr. Atlantis seems to not be phased. Her Karana from the big guy did not realize that Mike Atlantis was this versatile, and it's absolutely amazing to me. For a guy that size to do something like that, it blows my mind because I'm a mediocre sized guy and I couldn't do anything that cool when I was in the ring. You, I do not leave my feet, sir. <laughs> Good call, my friend. Glued to the. That's how you stay safe. I don't even take planes. That's. <laughs> yeah. Can't Soul travel. Guys. There worked very well out of the corner. An Irish whip into a big clothesline. But Tomer fighting back now took a little bit too much time. Should have went for the pin. Definitely the, pin the object of the match is to cover. You gotta get something. That is the end game. Oh! Tomer now. Looks like he was... Uh, what is Moose going for? Oh! Brawler, though, did using, not. using Moose as a shield from the referee actually punched him. I did not see that coming, Steve. I didn't see it either. Neither did uh, referee Jimmy. Big tag out. Brawler is now back in the ring. Senior referee Jimmy needs to watch both of these guys. It seems like all four men are very crafty and, and don't uh, don't hesitate to, to cheat when they can. Everyone's taking a chance. Oh! oh very nice snaps. That must have been one of those suplexes you were talking that about there. That was a snap suplex by Brawler. If he continues that, it's for sure done with this whole patrol. Oh, mocking Mike Atlantis. Throwing some kisses, Mike Atlantis as well. Goading him into the ring, though. Oh, he's starting to beat down all oh, double team behind the ref's back, and the ref has no clue what was going on. That's exactly what I was talking about. Referee Jimmy needs to watch these guys. Needs to not be baited in to bait and switches like that, because that's exactly what happened right there. Tomer came in and they laid the boots on Moose. Both of them did. It's upsetting to see. Oh, big forearm from Brawler. These guys ain't gonna have any chance if this is the way the match is going. Brawler very smart now, using the ring to his advantage. He knows he has the five count. He wrapped the arm, the bicep of Moose around the, the top rope there and pulled, it's almost separating it probably from his arm. And that's how dislocations happen. Exactly, that's exactly how those things happen. It's a, it's a dangerous business we are in, my friend. This is not for the weak of heart. This is not for someone who doesn't want to fight. Big chop by Tomer right there. To drop a man Moose's size with just a chop, to, you got to be hitting pretty hard. Tomer, I can tell you right now, has a nine-inch wide hand. And if he chops you, it's going to hurt. I've definitely been chopped by that man before, and I'm telling you, I don't just uh, cry at everything, but I do. And... One of those things was definitely from a chop from Tomer. I can I can believe it. Ooh! And a big chop there from Brawler. Brawler now, and taught in the crowd. He might want to get on Moose. Moose fighting back now. Moose is coming back. And he bring right Brawler back down. And Tomer. Brawler getting right in referee Jimmy's face. 
If I was referee Jimmy, I would try to exert my authority, maybe from afar, because I would not want to get punched by one of those guys. I wouldn't want to get chopped from one of those guys. Touche, my friend. Touche. Big snap in there now. That's a minute. Joe Cold. Crowd getting behind these guys now. Everyone's starting to rile up. It's Moose Nation time now. Oh, he's coming back, firing back at the elbow. We're gonna hit some Moose Knuckles now, baby. Here we go. Brawler runs off the ropes. Big cross body to Moose, going for the cover. Oh, what a kick out though. Did you see Brawler flew like three feet near right that there? That was amazing. Moose still has a lot left in him. These guys are gonna have to go, I think, a lot more on Moose if they wanna get that pin and keep Mike Atlantis out of the ring. Moose has a fighting spirit, and he ain't going down without a fight, and that's what I love about a guy like Moose. Oh! Another big chop there from the brawler. Every time I feel a tingle that just chills right through my body. It goes right down to my toes. I, I don't know about you, but Tommy and I are tagged in. Talking more smack. Every single day, this guy be talking smack. Big punch to the face. Is Moose coming back? Here he comes. Moose, oh, he's caught with it. Is it? Oh, he's going to go for a European uppercut there, maybe mimicking the brawler. Tomer caught him mid strike, just beat him down and slapped him in the back of the head. Call him a piece of crap. That is not a smart move. Choking him on the ropes, though, that is a smart move. You got the five count, utilize it when you can. Absolutely, but calling Moose a piece of crap, I don't know if that's the smartest move. That probably isn't very smart, because he is a big man. This is a guy you don't tick off. You may be on top right now, but I mean, Moose might come back. You never know, it might be the end of the fourth quarter, but uh, if the game's tied, they go in overtime. You never know what's gonna happen. Everything is coming in now. Ooh, Brawler's coming back. in on fire. Jumping up to the middle rope, what's he going for? Oh, he's oh. caught. He's caught. Moose still has some fire left. Oh, he's eating. Oh. Big double oh, crossbody. Tomer with a crossbody while Moose had Brawler sprawled across his chest. That was like a double crossbody. And Moose still kicks out. Moose is not letting this go now. That's like 600 pounds of man crashing down on your chest, and Moose still kicked out. That should just show you right there how much heart he has. He's got cardio he's got he's he's fit let's just say it straight up he's fit he's not gonna give up they're gonna have to fight him a lot harder i think maybe do some more of those uh backhanded tactics to maybe get the pin on him this has got to be moose's moment right here oh big suplex oh my god both men are down right now moose has taken a beating and the brawler just got a a standing, running, stalling suplex. I know that's a big mouthful, but... That is what you need. He stood up with him, stalled with him, and then ran and suplexed him right in the middle of the ring. Moose needs to make this tag now. Mike Atlantis has to get in this ring, and he's going to have to take up on this. Tomer in now. Without the tag, referee Jimmy Kelton. Referee Jimmy's got to get this guy out of the ring. This is not the way we do things here at CWO. And that was the ring he goes! Oh, God. Moose just kicked Tomer right outside the ring. The Come on, Moose. Right on top of him now. Oh! Uh, Brawler with a smart move, though. Punching Mike Atlantis off the apron. He's not able to get that tag. Mike Atlantis looks a little stunned. Oh, oh big middle finger. Brawler with the double burn to Mike Atlantis. This is a guy you do not want to... You do not want to make this guy mad. Mike Atlantis, I, I would think that he would know that he's being baited right there. He's been in the ring a long time. But I guess the temper... His temper just got the best of him right there. He's... The, this is, I can understand the frustration to sit there and watch your partner get beat down like a pulp by these guys who constantly keep cheating and doing things behind the ref's Here back. You got, you got him, Here this is the way, I'd be frustrated too. Don't worry there, Mike Atlantis. Oh, big kick to the spine by Tomer. I really want to see this all change over. I got it, we got to see this. I, I'm, I'm a very biased man myself. It goes the way it goes. We just have to call it. You can't pick your we, favorites. I, I, it's so upsetting because it's like, I want to believe, you know, the, the heart that Moose is showing here and just the, the amount of crap kicking that he is taking, it just makes you want to go for him. You're Mike. cheering for him. Big double, double suplex. suplex. There's that Christmas that is, spirit you're talking about right there. This is Christmas that time. Is Christmas. This Grinch stuff is out of here. This is what I wanted to see. 
this is exactly what I want to see. Bruce now needs to make this tag. If he doesn't make the tag, he's going to be in a lot of trouble. And then it's their game for sure. Brawler and Tomer won't let that stuff happen again. Well, you are absolutely right. He's close. Very smart man here in the ring. They're the getting brawler. us. Oh, big tag! Mike Atlantis is now comes. in the ring. Big clothesline. Big clothesline. Big punch into a splash. He's after Tomer. Big splash. Oh! Another stinger splash there by uh, Mr. Atlantis. Again, I hope the Fed doesn't uh, sue me. Atlantis now, they're going for a spine buster. Almost kind of a belly to belly spine buster there. And yet another one. He's going for the cover. Oh, and I thought it was over. That was a quick count there, my friend. Only one, I believe. The brawler got right back up. Brawler's not screwing around. No, he doesn't mess around. He may be playing possum here, too. They haven't really taken much yet. Oh. Oh, and up Look at the raw off. power. Oh, down he goes. Lifts them up. Right back down. Oh, Tomer was right there to make the save, though. That wasn't smart by Mr. Atlantis. He should have drugged the brawler over to the other side. He might have got the pin right there. That may, you were definitely right, Steven. Tomer now the out of the ring he goes. Hey, this does not look good for oh, Swole Patrol. Big slap in the face by Tomer. Oh, is he going for it? Going for a sunset flip there. Sunset flip. Swole Patrol is doing this. Oh! Oh! Headbutt man. to the knockers. Slingshot. That, is that disqualification? I, I guess he technically didn't hit him in the nuts. He didn't. It was a slingshot into a headbutt into the midsection there. Or the, 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 the private <laughs> part. <laughs> the I'm private gonna say, part. Mr. Atlantis, I mean, I don't know how he's going to recover from this. I don't think you, as a man, I can tell you, I would have been over right there. I don't know. He's tucked in pretty good there, though, my friend. I don't know. He must be wearing a jock strap or something. He has to be. Atlantis now with the chain. Swole Patrol using chains. Moose trying to give him the chain, but Mr. Atlantis refused it. Go for the, the pin. pin. It's over. One, two, three. Come on. Come on, Rep. Turn around. Oh. Moose is down. Mike Atlantis is down in the corner. Oh, big running forearm. Big dude. And a big bicycle kick. This is not looking good for Swole Patrol, no, Steven. It looks like Mr. Mike is done, my friend. This is a big power bomb, double power bomb. Oh, double power bomb choke slam there. Oh. This is all over, boys. That's it. That's it. I don't know what's going to happen here. Mike Atlantis. So much heart. So much heart. It was fought through there, and they, he kept fighting back. They had it, but Moose tried to give him the chain. He tried to give him the chain. I, be, I feel like the frustration of the cheating was starting to get to Moose. Yeah. Another beautiful flower in the ring, but also very dangerous and deadly. These two women are going to go at it right now, and I'm curious to see how the outcome is because they're both ridiculously tough. And I mean, and they're ridiculously beautiful also. Right. And I mean, this is this is not only a match for the ladies to watch and witness how great women actually are in this business, but this is also a treat for the men who get to watch these pretty ladies go at it. You know what I mean? That's it, my friend. The, the women's revolution is not just the women's the revolution it's is not a real just thing. On pay per view, it's here. It's in indie wrestling. Come out to the shows and see these women. They're beautiful. They'll sign a picture for you. You gotta pay them ten bucks, but they'll do it anyway. But it's worth it. You get Absolutely. to hang that on your wall. Absolutely. And that's something I'm very proud Maybe of. On the ceiling, even. You never know. Yeah, fun fact. I talked to these girls before their match. They're actually both fighting for a date with me. So it's very exciting to see how this is going to go. This is definitely the biggest bet for a pretty Ricky Wildly over here, I'm thinking. This is, in the end of the day, you're winning, buddy. I'm oh, I'm stay. always winning, Jesse. Happy to be here with you, but more excited to be here with one of them. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. Whether they feel the same way or not, I don't know. But if you're going home with one of them, you're definitely winning, my friend. You can definitely tell right now that the crowd is super into this match because the energy of everyone a minute ago was absolutely uproaring. Yeah, big lockup now with the women. They're both tied up on the ropes there. The They're going to go all the way around the ring. Real big, thick lockup. 
Oh, they're going all the way around. Here. It's my unbelievable. Friend. Divya was flown in from the Fiji Islands. I'm not allowed a free cheeseburger from this establishment. Clear favoritism and sexism. Not happy about that at all. Big chop there by Jules in the corner, though. Big chop. Jules almost split her in half, not needing to get hardcore to appear to draw a little red from she, Divya there. She might be a little bit mad, too. Maybe she didn't get a cheeseburger either. Oh. You know what? I'm not gonna lie. I could really use a cheeseburger right now. That where is where is the waitress? Three cheeseburgers would be a sweet upgrade around here. This is you watch some well, women's. Now, they're rolling the through, the rolling through the ropes, Steven. Under the table. Watch the bear. Watch I, the bear. Oh my gosh. Watch the bear. I gotta say, I think it's a great thing that Tomer and the brawler stole that beer because that would have been on the ground, spilt down, and, and I would have been a really upset customer. Absolutely, absolutely. We want these fans to come back, and I want a free cheeseburger. These ladies are ruining my opportunity for both, so they got to watch themselves. They won't be dating me at all. Maybe you'll get that cheeseburger on your date. That'd be a good way to end it, as long as they're paying. Both Happy women endings. now fighting all the way around the ring. Back in now, not letting go of each other until right now. Till right now. They can only win the match in the ring. They got to stay inside those ropes. Pulling each other's hair there. Jules talking a little bit of smack, I think. Jules is getting really angry, and I feel like that's a woman you don't want to tick off. I think either of these women could beat the piss out of probably both of us. I'm thinking that I would definitely call the police, and, uh, you know, they would believe me. Another tie-up now, though. Classic oh. opportunity. You just got to let them fight it out themselves. You guys shouldn't be calling the cops over this. Clearly, Jules is getting upset. She's more of a veteran around here. Divya on the upstart. She does not want to let this young rookie try to take her spot. And a baby is getting squished. A baby is getting squished. That baby is so young. This is women are right back in the crowd again. It, it, this seems maybe a little bit more personal than we've been led on to believe. I must have missed like the last show because this is absolutely thrilling. His CWO debut taking on the uh, veteran Jules Malone here. And I'm waiting to see some barbed wire. I really got to say, I'm just going to throw this out there. It almost looks like the baby was just born and then they had to come watch a wrestling show right after. And they made a good choice, CWO. You have, you have to expose children to this early so they have a love for it. It is a very forced sport to watch, yes. It is, <laughs> it is indeed. It is indeed. Yeah. But I mean, I thoroughly enjoy it. Because, I mean, look at this right now. Jules Malone. Big splash in the corner spl there. On, exactly. Yeah, splashes in. On Divya. You don't see that stuff in the Fuji Islands. Yeah, Mr. Fuji never did that. Mr. Fuji never did. Divya now turning the tides on Jules. Jules going to the outside, though. Very smart there. Oh, big headbutt. Jules down to one knee now. I told you, my friend. She knows how to use it. She knows how to use head. Than a coconut. Referee Davin with a two count now. Down she goes. Jules back on top, going for the cover, and it's not quite there. Another two count there by referee Davin. Oh, there they go. Please stop this. This is a terrible decision. I, I don't want to date a bruise girl. Divya on a big strike. Jules Malone with a big strike. Divya fights back. Here comes another big one. Oh. Third girl looking for a date with me. The night's looking out sweet. These ladies are good. I, I can't. I gotta say, this is the match you definitely have to be. You have to be here to see this. This is absolutely breathtaking. Big double boots, both women down. Big double down count. They're at two. Are is this the end? Referee Davin at three now. Four. Referee Davin's at four for both women. Women have till the both women have till ten to get back to their feet. Jules rolling to the outside though to break the count. That's very smart. She's up top. She's ready to go. Not just a pretty face, my friend. She's also very smart in that ring. Absolutely. Jules is a top. She's got the brain. She's got the smarts. She's got the looks. This is a woman. She's got it. She's making it. She's doing what she's got to do. Oh, oh, big punch to the face. I think she baited. She baited Divya in there, and Divya took the bait. And she got a big punch in the face for her problems. This woman must be really good at fishing. 
big hair pull Joel's through the ropes. The hair. Handful of hair. This might be the end right here. Big DDT. You are not getting up from that. That is a one, two, three. Your new winner right here. Oh my God, that was brutal. Big kick out. Are you kidding me? Good Lord. Are you kidding me? How does one get up from something Are you like kidding that? me? Absolutely incredible. I got to say. Jesse, these ladies are uh, quite exciting you tonight. Uh, this is absolutely unreal. That was a DDT. Oh my, no way. Guillotine, guillotine out of nowhere. No way. It's all. Oh! Guillotine submission. Into Jules a Malone DDT. is dead, folks. She is dead. Guillotine submission into a swinging DDT. I've never seen anything like that before. This is it. One, two, three. You're no. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding us? Are you kidding me? Fans, <laughs> fans can't believe that this is happening. <clears throat> me and multiple fans, we feel like they're kidding us right now. They can't believe it. They you, can't believe it. Absolute jokes. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Surfboard submission here. Or oh, not a surfboard. I'm sorry. This is definitely not a surfboard there, oh, Steven. You haven't thought, wrestled in a while. It's I all right. Been a while. Go surfing. Come on now. <laughs> it's a, she must have learned this out in the islands. Absolutely amazing. Is she going to top? This is the end of Jules. I don't care if you're hardcore or not. You can't get out of that stuff. That is a fantastic submission hold. She is so close to the rope. She's reaching as much as she can and fingertips away. Finger this. She's got it. She's, she's got the rope. Damn it. Take that stuff off. Oh. Good Lord. Call that right there. What That's, a match. Um, I, this is amazing. If you're asking the crowd, is this who you're cheering for? This the is who you're playing, yes. Shouldn't have taken that time. Down again. Is this another one? Jules, Big stomp. Jules takes her down with the arm right bar. There. That was gruesome stomp on the shoulder. Oh, this she, is the surfboard. This is the surfboard. This is the surfboard. Is oh, it looks painful. Oh, my hey, God. She's going to go into the that dragon That is ugly. Sweeper. Just give up. It's over. Quit. You'd better off quit. Jules Malone wrenching back now on that. This is the into time. The oh, sleeper. Even into the sleeper. This is it. Ladies and gentlemen, big crowd roar over here in the corner. You aren't getting out of this. Oh, this she got a, out. oh my. She got out. She fought her way out. She bit her, I think. She Was that a bite? I think she bit her. She bit her. Oh, my little what? 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 You. Give you with a he did, is that what he said? Jules going up for the TKO. Oh my god, where did they go again? This is just a fight. Ricky's getting angry, bruises galore. Ricky's upset. Oh my knees. It's gruesome. Why? Don't do that. These, these women meet business, they're beating each other like it's a street fight. Oh my god. The crowd just doesn't know what to say. They're in awe. Yeah, they don't see this very often. Bell is rang. Is this over? Are you kidding me? Is that a time limit? Are you kidding me? Is this a time limit draw? What happened? What did we miss? I think it might be a time limit draw. It's a big fight still. The brawl is on. They're still going. They don't care about the Fans time. Fans of What's CWO. Happening? We don't even know. What? Time limit draw, ladies and gentlemen. Every damn you need to get in between there. Let that fight. Let that fight. Let that fight. Oh, it's the big breakup. All the men are coming out here to pull these girls away. You want it? I want to see the guys get out of here. All the young men in the back locker room coming to break these two up. Four minutes. Crowd chanting for five more minutes now. Everyone is begging for five more minutes, Steven. Steven, this five is... More minutes. I can't believe this. This is absolutely amazing. You can... This is a match that you, we need to see happen again here at CWO. I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'm speaking for all the fans and for us. Those gentlemen need to wash their hands. This is a workplace, and Bill 106 might come to play. And that's all it takes. This is it. That's ridiculous. Boo. Oh, the fans oh, are not big. happy with the end of this match. It's outrageous. Both these ladies fighting so hard and competitively to try to date me. I guess that means because there was no winner. Oh, they're coming back. They're coming There's back. A, oh, they're oh, back. No. The women are going. 
Oh, she's gone. Divya, she, Divya took the high road. I think she went. Divya took the high road. She's going to get ready for the next show for CWO, and she's going to have to fight this girl again. I, you, I, I'm going to throw it out there. I would love to see these two in an Extreme Rules match. That's the fight that I would like to see. I feel like Jules, that's her ground. That is her game, but Divya is a tough lady and also smart. He's recently made his return. There's no ring rush there, my friend. He's been training. He's ready to go. Oh, what was this? Jump by the man himself, Showtime Brett Scholl. Showtime Brett Scholl also making a return to in-ring competition after a couple years off. Smacking, it looks like David Black in the face with a cane it, right there. It looks like he's gone now. And he's gone. Oh, no, there he is. He's got his happy basket of Christmas toys. Showtime's got presents, I think, for everyone. I'm glad that he was able to do a sneak attack and then get his entrance in as well. That was good. That was a very good move. That was very well done. Brett Show is, or sorry, excuse me, Showtime Brett Show. I've known this guy. Showtime, all right. Showtime, exactly. We're going to re gimmick him today. Dr. Showtime. Showtime Brett Show. Oh! oh. I, think, I think Showtime. Gave him too much time to recoup. Yeah, he might have. He might have underestimated. David Maybe Black he needed right to really get that sweater off. Oh. Enough Showtime, more game time. Am I right? David Black just smacked Showtime Brett Show in the face with a pizza pan. These guys are not wasting any time with the weapons and the violence and the extraordinaire. Straight shot. Yeah, this in the is face. unbelievable. I cannot believe we were able to book the Undertaker. Well, the rock pile is full tonight. I gotta say, it's really hard to get that kind of talent in here. Chris Jericho was in the rock pile not a week ago. I'm on the same stage as him now, on the same level. Ladies and gentlemen, Fozzie was here at the rock pile last week, and we missed it, and I missed it. If I, 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 it, was, it was sweet, it was fantastic, it was an awesome show. They did pretty, Ricky says it's awesome, it must have been amazing. Absolutely. Interesting. And now I'm here headlining the same venue, you know? That's how the world works. Headlining as the first match losing. That's all it that's all takes, Schultz right, Pretty Ricky? That's not the way I remember it, but I appreciate it, Jesse. I got your back, and you won a date last match. David Black smacking Brett Scholl in the face with, I don't even know what that was, an ashtray? I'm not sure. I can't even see half these weapons, but they do not look like they're fun to be hit with. No, and uh, David Black now throwing Brett Scholl up onto the ropes. Another punch right to the throat, it looks like. I gotta say, I'm a huge fan of the Santa hat that's glowing. I don't even know what it's saying or doing, but I'm a fan. Too many matches with the Santa hats. It's kind of pandering to the crowd. I want it gone. Maybe burn. Demon Black should burn that hat. Burn that hat. Your heart should grow about two more sizes, so that way it's at three sizes, you grinchy looking best. Brent Shaw that Bass a cheap shot. For, for Bobby cheap Bass, shot, and Demon that's the Black. way, because that's it. They smell, that's it. <laughs> you know, the Grinch wouldn't have been such a bad guy if people weren't like making fun of him all the time and saying that he was such a sucky piece of crap. That's it. He deserved it. You see the way he looked? It's gross. Well, we don't make fun of You're you, You're very Ricky. vain, Ricky. How dare you, Jesse? I'm fantastic looking. You're quite vain. I, I gotta say, though, I... Vascularity, thank you. Your, your, your face is symmetrical. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's symmetrical. You, you're, you're a handsome fella. It's the However, perfect jawline and a mustache. I think Damon Black's face just got rearranged by Brett Scholl with that pizza pan right to his face again. But Brett Scholl has a candy cane now, a I'm, large candy cane decoration. Steven, tell me right now... What is that candy cane made out of? I don't know, but it sounded like it hurt. It might be that crappy plastic that has toxins in it from China. The toxin plastic? Oh, you're super dead with that stuff. Make sure he does not eat that. Just these ones, the edible candy canes. And that's Brett what we Scholl now stealing someone's water from the crowd. It was either that or a bottle of vodka knowing Scholl time. Those guys are spitting now on Damon Black. Those guys are out in the back of the bar. Brett Scholl now fighting, punching Damon Black in the back of the head. I am not even quite sure. Through the door they went. Crowd is. Like he threw him right into the wall over there. Brett Schultz is getting the crowd wild up right now with door throws and candy cane hits and whatever else you got. The thing about Brett Schultz is he doesn't give a crap about these people in the least. He is so conceited, it's ridiculous. And he uses that to his advantage to win his matches. And that's the way you gotta be sometimes. He is extremely conceited. He wouldn't even shake my hand in the locker room. He gave me the cold show. Cold shoulder. Show, yeah, I get that. I get that's that. pretty Ricky with the wordplay, ladies and gentlemen. He's here for basically the rest of the night, ladies and gentlemen. 
Main event, star attraction. How are we feeling tonight? All right. And the on, Come on. Come on. He's got new dates everywhere he goes. There's a big fight happening right now outside. Everyone is losing their minds. Pandemonium up here in the rock pile. Toronto. People are going outside to see what's happening. Oh, they're back over this side. They're back over. They better not come up here. They better not come up here. Everyone is chasing through the one door. They're coming through the other entrance. I don't have danger pay for this. This is ridiculous. Keep them away from me. We just got to make sure that our computer stuff is okay. Showtime. Oh, they're coming up here now. Oh, and they're coming up right now, and this is oh it. God, they're coming up here. Brett Showtime is... Oh, my gosh. Damon Black now. Are you kidding me? Showtime, Brett Show, you're... What are you doing? Are you kidding me? What are you doing? You're crazy. It's showtime, hey, crazy. Showtime. It's all about Showtime. Dude. Showtime, it's not even about that right now. It's all about Showtime. Woo! Showtime over here talking for the commentary, punching the heck out of the crow. Damon Black now getting beat by Showtime right in front of our announcing. We gotta right say here. VIP is getting their money's worth tonight. Big Show punches of the face. Blow to the back of the neck. I gotta oh, say, Damon Black fighting back now. This is a big fight. He's getting punched in the jaw. He's getting still punched in the jaw. He's just throwing chairs around. Watch out! Oh VIP, my God! They're coming. Showtime just standing here. He looks like he's taking this like a champ. Face the, to the speaker. speaker. Oh, it looks like it looks like a fan has a fan has a tray of some sort. He has a weapon. He's got a weapon to give away. Oh my God! Stainless steel. David Black with the stainless He's steel. He's gonna. This is it. He has taken the tray. Down he goes. Brett Scholl now with the stainless steel to the top of the head. I don't know what's happening. Pretty Ricky is getting really right into this match right now. Brett Scholl now thrown all the way to the floor. Damon Black off the speaker. That was the crow stuff right there. That's how he glides down from the from the rooftop. VIP getting more than their money's worth, yeah, I think, is, tonight. They're all losing their minds right now. Like, you can't beat this type of entertainment. Two dudes beating the piss out of each other. This is great. This is all it is. David Black with that stainless steel again. Oh, Brescio blocks it this time. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the move of the night. Brutality. Spin kick into the stainless steel plate into Brett Scholl's face. Big neck breaker. One, two, three. Big pin. One, two, three. Your new winner. David Black with the victory over Showtime Brett Scholl. Looks like that bag of tricks came back to, to haunt him. The bag of tricks definitely haunted him. And that is why you don't show up to a Christmas battle with your sack of crap. What it's all about. You know, the wolf mask is quite intimidating, but honestly, I think that's just aesthetics. You look at the fact that Holden Albright's in there wearing no knee pads. This man is not afraid of a thing. He does not care about the condition of his body. He is looking to destroy the body of Solo Ali's. Very well said, Pretty Ricky. I was very impressed with Pretty Ricky. That's some, that's some wise stuff coming from you. It's like you know what you're talking about. I'm not just a pretty face. Thank you, Jesse. A little bit of journalist integrity right just there. Just a Pretty little Ricky. bit. Very good. Lock up now. Holding Big all strong right. lock up. Turning Solo Ali back into the corner. Oh, double those, chops. Those Solo. are those chops we've been seeing all night there, Steven. Solo not impressed, though. This is it. Holden Albright looks like he's ready to go here. Circling the ring again. Big lock up there in the middle of the ring. Solo Ali looks like he's getting the best of Holden Albright. Holden Albright turns it around. Really strong lock up from both these gentlemen. These guys going around the world right now. And I say that because that ring technically is our world, gentlemen. It's the best world in the world, I'm not going to lie. Oh, Solo Ali now with a receipt for Holden Albright. Oh, is this a big standoff? Chops again. Big standoff. Oh! oh big big forearm. Holden Albright. A big one from Solo Ali. 
Big one back again from Holden. Big one from Solo. Here comes a big one from Holden again. Just forearm Close exchange. Going back and forth. Whoa. This is how people pull off concussions. Side headlock now. Quite frankly, I don't think the man has had a concussion that he hasn't slept through recently. He's uh, he's not quite there when he's inside of the ring. He's not quite there inside of his mind. But he does seem to be all over Solo Ali. That's what makes him a dangerous man, though, Pretty Ricky. I think there's plenty of things making that man dangerous. I'm certainly happy that Solo's in there and not me. Holden now backing Solo back into the corner. Big back elbow to the face. Big, big oh. chase. Solo with a running avalanche in the corner there on Holden Albright. Solo came in hard. Hot Straight soup, buddy. Hot the, soup. Straight I'm shot to the Solo face, Ali. elbow to the back. On him soup, Ali, by the end of this. Irish rip reverse now. Big roll up. He doesn't go for the pin, but he goes for the knee to the face, and Solo down he goes. Big knee, my friend. Is this the end here? No. Holden Albright might have to count his teeth after that one. <laughs> I don't think he's got any more left. I think there's some sitting in the ring right there. So uh, Lee taunting the crowd now. Solo getting the crowd excited and ready to go here. Oh, big chop. Back. Big chop. Holden Albright, Holden Albright taking it to Solo Ali. Ali trying to get the crowd into it. Does not work, does not help at all. Oh, and a vicious strike there again from Holden. Solo on the post now. Oh. Holden Albright chopping the post. Many times I've seen Chris Thorne hit the post too with that hand chop. Those are not fun. Sidewalk slam on the apron there by Solo Ali. On a low boy. That's a, that's a, oh man, that's a big drop. That's something right there. Big kick out from Holden Albright. I think he was trying to get him on the plywood that's exposed on the end of that ring there, my friend. And that's the scare. Oh, catches him off guard with the jawbreaker. Big headbutt from Holden Albright. He must have seen this coming. Oh, big forearm. Big forearm. You can't hit as hard as this guy does and it's crazy to me albright running across what do we call that the rikishi is that the rikishi i don't know are we allowed to say that is the fed i don't think we i don't think we might get sued for that one that's the one <laughs> two count there big butt to the face that's probably proper the butt to the face is the proper way of saying that i'm thinking i hear pretty ricky likes big butts and he cannot lie are you lying about big butts uh, these other brothers cannot deny. Butt. I would like to point out a small detail. Holden Albright hit a headbutt there, and a smile came across his face. You really got to understand the kind of deranged mind you're dealing with there. Solo Ali, he can throw a lot of good moves, nothing taken away from him. But quite frankly, I don't think he knows what he's in the ring with. Back elbow, and then what a boot there to Holden Albright. <laughs> the boot was devastating. Albright back up, though. Solo going to town, just throws Holden Albright down. Oh, he misses him. Goes for. Is this a German? Ripcord Insiguri. Oh, we were on the same page with that one, Steven. Oh my gosh. Like my good friend Joey used to say. Insugiri! Insugiri! Oh! Oh, big pump kick. Pulling well, Albright going up to the top. Off the top. That is it. I'd pin him right there. It's over. Solo, I think, looking for that pump kick again, maybe. Nope. Goes oh! For the stomp. Curve stomp. Albright. Down he goes. This is it. Is this over? Oh! Nope, not enough on that stomp, my friend. I think it's going to take more than that to put down Holden Albright. He needs a little bit of a bigger strategy to bring down a man like Holden Albright. Is he pumping the crowd right now? The crowd looks like they they want to be worked. He's tuning some kind of musical instrument there. Pump kick going down and misses. Ooh, big back elbow to Holden Albright. These, oh, oh my god, big headbutt. That I thought it was over, ladies and gentlemen. Very good ring awareness there by referee Jimmy, noticing that Holden Albright fell on top of Solo for the pin right after that headbutt. Amazing headbutt from Holden Albright. You know, it actually baffles me that you can see two competitors going to war like that and notice the referee. I'm a, I'm a journalist, my friend. I look at everything. He reads everything. You don't leave one thing uncovered, you know? I'm Double chop. Is this a chop exchange from these gentlemen right here? This is chop off. These guys are warriors. Big chops are coming dirty. Get some barbecue sauce. They're serving chops. <laughs> Holding, going for the suplex. Is this the Northern Lights? 
Pumpy! Oh! Big pump Gets kick. it with the kick. Solo it misses again. Goes for the rip. Oh! Another back elbow, but Holden hooks him. Snapman suplex Snap into the. Oh, Shining Wizard, my friend. Oh, it's some magical stuff coming from these gentlemen. Beautiful Northern Fisherman's Light. Fisherman's Buster. Fisherman's Buster. Is it a Fisherman's? I think so. Wow, that was definitely the way to end it for Holden sure. Holden Albright gets the three count on Solo Ali tonight here at the Rock Pile in beautiful Etobicoke, Ontario, Canada. Welcome to the Rock Pile. Ladies and gentlemen, CWO is featuring some pretty good talent right now. The champ is here, but he has not walked through the curtain yet, ladies and gentlemen. We're uh, waiting. The real music has hit, my friend. The champ is here, and everybody's going to wait for the champ. This is your CWO champion. Look at everybody dancing there. Bone Crusher Steve Brown has held that belt almost... If I'm not mistaken, you, almost you, a year now. You can't beat a man like Steve Brown. He bone crushes. That's what he does. He breaks bones for a living. That's how you're a CWO champion still. You can't just drop championship titles when you be crushing bones every single day. Looks like it started a party over here. Every day, the energy is up. Everyone is booing this man. He's going to turn it off very soon because this man I've known for a long time, almost 25 years, and he will turn it up or turn it off whenever he wants. How old are you if you know it for 25 years? I'm That's... legit 40 years old. No wonder when you said 45. I know, I'm old. I'm legit 40 years old. We're Actually, waiting 39. for a Stefan Elias comeback right now. I would say legit is not a thing then if you're only 39 there, Steven. Well, now we know not to, that we can't trust him. Yeah, now we can't trust you, Steven. I'm sorry. I'm with Tomer on this one. Not too many people do, so it's all good. <laughs> Are you guys excited to see next month how I beat that old man? I don't, I don't, I'm not really sure. Uh, I mean... I know you're not sure because you don't want to see an old man get beat up, but you will actually get to see an old man get beat up. I think it's going to be adventurous, and I'm really excited to see on the journey it takes you, you know, and the path you lead. You're leading a path to, to death, I think, because he's outrageous. Bone, Bone Crusher Steve Brown right now is going to fight another man that Look at we that. both he's, know He's for putting a long the time. belt here. He's trying to show Jesse Beaver what he will never have. Well, I mean, if he says one word, I'm going to go up there and guarantee myself a booking. So, I mean, you better relax there, brother. Hey, kid, that's what I did. If you're smart, go do it your way. Don't forget, I did it on a, on a 65 years old man. This is a bone crusher. I thought you said he was 100. He was, but I gave him a discount. It don't matter. He's still getting a discount at breakfast, so. I think in Hamilton, they really like these repeat words before their theme songs. Something is a little savage and everyone's getting it. Custom music for Logan Savage. Does it say go get savage or golden savage? I think they're saying he's a savage. Logan Savage. Logan Savage, another fan favorite here at the Rock Pile. Is that, that headband is he wearing right now? Is that from the Karate Kid? He actually beat the kid from Karate Kid and got it from him. He beat the Cobra Kai dungeon? No, no, the Karate Kid that beat the Cobra Kai dungeon, he beat the kid himself. The real Karate Kid wrestled and fought out of the Cobra Kai. Not studios, dungeon, yes. Not the dungeon. <laughs> Not everything's a work by friend in the studio. It's, 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 they're from Calgary, they do what they gotta do. Former tag team partner is going to go at it right now here for the CWO Championship. They got a lot of history together, these guys. They know each other for almost 25 years like you. Almost. No, they're, I think, 15. 15. Just throw me under the bus, then. Formerly known as Team Shake and Bake. Shake and Bake. Who used to shake and who used to bake? You can ask them because I don't want to go near them. <laughs> He's got brass knuckles on his chest. This man means business. Can't go wrong with that. And he's Logan, got two of them. No Logan one. Savage once punched me in the face when I woke up my clothes were out of style. And that's the way the cookie crumbles, folks. 
add the joke quite out of style too. Steve there Brown now taking his time as he always does. Steve Brown's kissing the belt. He never kissed it before. Steve Brown has been a champion here for a whole year. You know what? Logan Savage just showed up in the last show. Do you guys think that Logan Savage can do the unbelievable and beat the one-year world champion? You know them, you know them better, Stefan. What do you think? To be honest with you, these guys know each other very well. It could go either way. Logan Savage, although hasn't been in the ring and around wrestling for a while, he's been training in Muay Thai and street fighting and uh, shoot wrestling, which could be very dangerous in a scenario like this. It's starting to feel like a Rocky V movie right here, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be a street fight and it's going to be a brawl. Well, Drago just made his return recently. Why not Logan Savage? Well, if you guys don't need to notice it, but Al Burke is going to do his return after 50 years too next month. No. The bell has just rung. Logan Savage throwing some kicks. Look at that judo kick. I've Referee Davin now checking Logan Savage for I've seen for weapons. Lo I've seen Logan Savage in his warm-up. He was actually breaking uh, sticks with his legs just to warm up. Real sticks. Yes. Like lifetime real life sticks. Like Hawks up Jim Duggan. Oh, oh, two by fours. Wow. I'd be breaking logs off my legs every single day. You do that in Zumba? <laughs> every day with Zumba. Lucas Savage just straight punched Steve Brown in the face. This is becoming. This is becoming a fight. That's his hand. You guys were tag team partners. You should know what he can be capable of. It's starting to look like Logan Savage is made of concrete. He's been training for a really long time. I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt that when he hits you, it hurts. He told me, he told me in the back before the match that he wants this so bad for his kids, for his family. He needs this. He wants this. This is, could be his last opportunity. So... That's all you get. One chance, one opportunity. His kids and his family are actually here. He may do them proud tonight because he's knocking Steve Brown down to the ground right now. Steve Brown cowering to the outside. You know he means business when he goes under the bottom rope. Logan Savage family is absolutely irate right now. Steve Brown tore up a sign that took a long time to make. You can do whatever you want, but you don't do something like that in front of a father. Don't bully his kids. No, and Steve Brown's paying the price right now, my friend. Logan Savage got to focus. Ref's already at six. Referee Davin at seven. Logan Savage gets thrown into the pole now. He looks like he's getting his butt handed to him. Steve Brown now taking over on Logan Savage, smashing his head into the stage there. Look at that, Steve Brown means business. Re Referee Devin at five now. Elbow shots. Steve Brown faking out the crowd, looking like he was going to throw him into the children. Now he's laughing at the children. Steve Brown now calling children bullies. They are. I'm not going to lie, Steven. They are. You, you got to stop them early because kids are vicious with the bullying. And, and I mean, if you don't stop it at the right time. They can grow up to be like Jesse Beaver. And you don't want to be. <laughs> yes, you don't want to be like you. They'll teach Zumba and be dicks. That's why you got to get it early. Hopefully we'll beep that. That wasn't a bad word. Dick Sporting Goods, one of the best stores in the USA. Steve Brown puts him in the corner. 
I feel like Steve Brown's only one splash away from becoming, retaining his championship. It's like that with every match for Steve Brown, my friend. Even though he talks a lot of smack and he fools around a lot outside of the ring with the fans making fun of people and stuff, he is a dangerous competitor. Look at those kicks. He's crushing his bones right now. This must be where he got his nickname from. This is how it starts. <laughs> He's just stomping away there every single day. And <laughs> I've seen I've seen way too many wrestlers that got their bones crushed by him. You gotta say though, Steve Brown is very comfortable in there. He he knows how to own the ring. His taunting is at the perfect moments. He's bringing him down. But you can't showboat. <laughs> You can't showboat that much because this is how you lose a match. Steve Brown's paying too much attention to the crowd instead of the match. It's very dangerous. That's a dangerous territory. You know what I mean, Steve? Especially indeed. You have to pay attention. I mean, let the kids yell all you want, win, and then taunt them. Exactly. Especially when the world title's on the line. Yeah, especially when you're wrestling a guy like Logan Savage. He's too much of a savage. He's got concrete fists. But he's, he, look at that. Savage is back. Oh. Clothesline in the corner that, is the worst spot in the world. You don't want to fall there. No, it hurts the most. That's a, that, that, that was like hitting a wall, like a brick wall over there. Listen, I put this ring up today, and I can tell you that which, in that corner which, alone. Which, which stop, is that a stop sign in that corner alone? There's a, that one, the stop sign's gone. It's all wood at this point. <laughs> Wooden steel, and that's what you're falling on. Look at that, if, if, if Steve Brown's gonna put more momentum on that, that's close to 400 pounds on Logan Savage's neck. That rope right around the neck with that 400 pounds, that's definitely not good. It might snap like one of them chicken wings by your feet there, Tomer. Steve Brown wants Steve almost Brown's beat to, the 100. Steve Brown's gonna go to the top. Oh, I thought he's gonna go to the top for a second. Would have been amazing to see a man like that up top. He can go to the top, my friends. He's a mat wrestler. Matt Wrestler, who almost beat the 100 uh, chicken nugget challenge in under an hour once. I think he ate like 80 something nuggets. 88 nuggets? 80 something. I think it's like 88 nuggets. And he couldn't finish it? And he couldn't finish the last 12. Look at that. Is this a match you're allowed to use weapons in? Did you not pay attention that this is everything goes? Everything goes in this match, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm telling you here, you're hearing it first. I've up. told this kid, Chris, 12 times to do his job, and I'm scared to you he's uh, working honestly, for Just Candy King. Honestly, I think they should stop the match. What the kid did here was very disrespectful. Children are throwing stuff at Steve Brown. You see, that's exactly what we said. Why we got to stop them at their age right now yeah. before they become like Jesse Beaver. Exactly. Exactly. And then oh, Steve Brown paying... Steve Brown paying way too much attention to the children gave Logan Savage the edge there. These are Logan Savage's kids. Of course he's going to pay attention to them. Every single kid here is Logan Savage's. He's very, he's very, he's very popular. potent. Very popular. Popular potent man. That's what he is. Maybe that's why all the women are here. They're here for Logan Savage and they, and they got a right to be here for him because look at him go. He's got elbows made of concrete. Punching away, rocking down Steve Brown, the champ, CWO heavyweight champion. Again, I said it already. Logan Savage is still, right now, he's in the best shape of his career. He absolutely is, my friend. Like I, like I said before, we've known him a long time. They know each other very well. I, I heard they used to go and buy wrestling toys together. They sometime. did, indeed. They did, indeed. They used to travel to Buffalo. They used to travel to Detroit just to find specific wrestling toys that they didn't have. They are friends, but they're not friends today. They were friends. They were friends. Good call. Yes, They sure. were. When it gets this personal between family and actually, Logan Savage never won the big one. You know, Steve Brown has every wrestler that gets into this business. His goal is to become a champion. Very true, my friend. Very true. I want to know exactly how did everything spin? Like, how did they spin from being best friends to what they are now? Money. When money. you have kids, it's all about money and business. This crowd is going wild right now. I think exactly how this started, my friend, was last show. Logan Savage was interviewing Steve Brown because he used to be my commentating partner. And Steve Brown whoa, ran whoa, him down. Don't you put him. yourself over, Stefan. I'm here. not indeed. I'm not. He called 
Logan Savage, Marty Jannetty, and suing no. that he was Shawn Michaels of the team. Well, now it all makes sense. Now I understand Logan's frustration and anger. And after that, they actually had a battle royal that I was in the battle royal. I was helping Steve Brown beat up people. And then I turn around and I see Steve Brown out. And the guy that took Steve Brown out, a 400-pound man, and lift him over the ropes was actually Logan Savage in a mask. Sensation. Yes. Logan Savage can deadlift 500 pounds, so Steve Brown better be careful. Bone Crusher starting his bone crushing. Dusty like punches in the corner there by Steve Brown. Steve Brown again taunting the crowd to get on Logan Savage. This is not the Steve that we always see. Steve is not usually like this. You can feel that the crowd and Logan are getting under his skin. Logan Savage moves out of the corner there when Steve went for the big avalanche. Logan Savage going. Oh, he tried to pick him up for the slam and Steve Brown fell on him. Steve Brown now, straight shots to Logan Savage's head. What is Logan? It feels like Steve Brown's telling Logan something there. I think he called him Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell. Is that like uh, they're inside, you know it better. I think that might be their safe word. Safe word of Tinkerbell. Give you the chair. Steve Brown is calling for the chair from here from Tomer. He's going to make you stand the whole show now. Tomer's getting over. Tomer's going to hand over the chair. I just realized how loud this is now that I got my headset. Yeah, back. the headset is fantastic. It's good to have. Now you know the, the distances that you can talk in this thing. He's grabbing the chair. Tomer's okay with this. Tomer's coming back here now. The crowd, crowd doesn't like it at all. Crowd is super hot about this. And I totally understand why. You, I can't stand up. Get up. Stand up. Steve Brown out talking trash about Logan Savage. I'm sorry, guys. He asked. I work here. Whatever they ask, you got to do. Jesse Bieber now going down by rings. Oh, he's actually stealing a chair. Oh, Steve Brown just got the chair in the head. Steve Brown just ate that chair. Did you see? Yeah, because I was grabbing a chair. Why did you even go and get a chair in the first place? chair because you stole my chair Tomer. usually it goes by like vets but you have actually been wrestling longer than me she knows i'm saying i'm a little upset i got to miss the amazing chair spot because i'm not there. what spot what are you talking about the main the chair shot the, the, you know exactly what i mean the chair shot steve brown ate that chair and logan savage may have may may have a chance now Let's see what's going on. Ducks! Look at that. Steve Brown throwing them haymakers. Logan Savage juking He's and jiving. He's missing all those haymakers. Indeed he is. Look at Logan. Logan's fired up. Logan Savage off the ropes. Ducks! Duck the elbow. Kicks Kingston. away the clothesline. Oh. Double chops. Big forearm. And another. Whipping Steve Brown off. Steve Brown with the reversal, though. There we go. There we go. Knee to the gut. Oh, slapping Logan Savage in the back if of the head. If he's 400 pounds, that means that leg is at least a 100-pound kick right now. Steve Brown signaling the death. Oh. Oh. Wow. Steve Brown slammed. Wow. Steve Brown slammed out of nowhere by Logan Savage. Logan got the two, two and three quarters. I two and three never, quarters. I have never seen Steve Brown 
get tossed like that. Wow. I told you, Logan Savage trains. He can deadlift 500 pounds. This might be his chance to win the CWO now, championship. Now I know why his last name is Savage. He's a Savage. I just got to say something real quick, Tomer. Oh, my God. I, lo, lo, hey, there comes. Savage is going for the crane kick now. Catches him. Steve Brown knows he caught it, though. Oh, no. World's oh, strongest slam. It is over. World's strongest slam. It is over. What? What? Logan Savage Are kicked out. Are you kidding me? Logan Savage kicked out. Wow. Wow. I... Holy crap. Wow. Steve Brown only with a two count on the I'm World's shocked, Strongest Slam. I'm shocked, Jesse. I'm shocked. Have you ever seen somebody kick out of his move? I've never seen anyone kick out of his move. And Logan is still up on his feet once more. Steve Brown, the he crane kick again. Man, oh, he just hit the ref. He kicked the referee down. Senior David. official Davin is down. The crane worked, but on the wrong guy. Wow. He's got the Steve belt Brown now calling for his belt. He's going to set that up in the corner. But it was legal the whole time, so why didn't he just hit him with it? It anyways? was indeed. He just smacked him with a chair right there. Fans yelling at Steve Brown that he's cheating. I don't think they understand this is a no-holds-barred match. He was choking him with a chair before. Oh, no. Oh, no. Please don't tell me. Gonna... This could be it. Where is he going? Old Yeller is going out back. This is some Disney stuff. And down he goes. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. We're going home. Ref's waking up from the from the, the terrifying kick of the crane. Steve Brown's getting up, though. He's not done, it looks Logan like. Logan Savage is not moving. It looks like he wants to end it now. He wants to end his career. This, I'm telling you. You, you should know this, Stefan. You know them good. This is personal. This is very personal. Something really happened there. Steve Brown has always thought that he was the best of the best, better than everybody else, even his friends and family. This is where he proves it. They both have kids. They both want to come home as a champion back home. Logan Savage with the belt now. Big belt shot to Steve Brown. No. No, don't One, don't. two. Oh my God! Logan Savage won. And new Logan Savage won. CWO Heavyweight Champion. Champion. The Concrete Hands, Logan Savage. Logan Savage has just beat longtime friend, former tag team partner Steve Brown for the CWO Championship. New champion. New champion. This guy came out of retirement after four years and became a world champion. This is like a fairy tale story right now. Logan Savage has done the unthinkable. He beat one year reigning champion Steve Brown for the CWO title. This is the first major championship he's held ever in his career. What a shocking ending to this show tonight. Thank you for everybody for watching. I'm Tomer Shalom. I'm Jesse Beaver. I'm Steven Saint. And we gotta say goodnight to everybody. Wow, that was shocking.